So I mentioned this whole talking donkey thing right away because it's about speaking and using our tongue. And I gotta tell you, I think we forget as leaders how important our speaking words, our, our words. It's all over in the Bible, a famous quote in James about your tongue can speak life and death. But I'm here to submit to you, it's true. It's true. You can kill something in the spirit, in reality, and you can bless it. And you have the authority, God, shown me, you on your horses, you leaders, ready to step into your rightful place in the kingdom during this next season, have the authority to create life or death with your tongue. It, when we figured this out at Gingrass Global, I don't know, it's maybe 10 years ago, I've got some of my family here who has become part of my business family. My sister Shelly's here. She leads our prayer team. We're a for-profit C corporation in the finance industry, and she leads our prayer team. We call them the guards. And as we figured out about speaking, we found out how often we curse ourselves. And we started to use this thing for a while called delete. You know, we'd, you'd say something like, I'm not good at that. Delete, delete, you know, delete the email. I, I retract what I just said. Well, as we got bolder and bolder, Shelly would step up and say, rebuke, I rebuke that, I rebuke that. And she'd instantly replace it with something of what the kingdom would say. Instantly. So Shelly's here today, and she's led our prayer team since 2012, and they pray over business people all over the world. Natalie, my partner, is also here today. She joined up three years later in Gingrass Global and came along like a fierce lioness. And she won't let anything come out of my mouth or anybody else's that might not breathe pure life. She also does the thing of, you know, how Peter, God said, Peter, you're my rock. Well, Peter had been the one that was not rock-like, you know. He was toggling all the time, running away from Jesus, denying him. And he's like, Peter, you're my rock. Natalie speaks over me and we speak over others. You're our rock. The other day we had a vendor who was really annoying and one of our other amazing staff members here, Jennifer, who speaks life over all of us. She's like, well, I'm having problems with this vendor. I, he was crazy, he wasn't, he wasn't uh, showing up for meetings, causing chaos for the department that she leads. She called and let me know. I got on the phone with them the next morning. I said, I declare peace over you. I declare this. And we spoke life over him, and he moved into alignment of vendor. The vendors don't necessarily have to be believers, right? We have authority. We have authority to do what God needs done with our tongue. 